everybody. All right, so I am going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, data logging um, using uh, Arduino, uh, Excel, and a program called PLXDAQ, so, which is a data acquisition program. So let's get started by going into the Arduino environment or program. Okay, and loading our sketch. And uh, I'm working on a mass flow calorimeter, or calorie meter. So this is uh, our, our library information, our global parameters. Um, for This is just for my sensors and stuff like that, like thermocouple, flow meter. But this is the important part, um, is we want to set our INT for column, row, and value. And under void setup, we want to have a serial print line for clearing the data, a serial print line for um, uh, label, uh, to label our timestamp. And then this is some extra st uh, stuff you, you, can, you can include for um, formulations if you want to add more, uh, what would be iterations. Um, but it's important to get the, at, least the, at least this basic one down. And, um, and you can do the computational uh, computations or, or formulations in, in your sensor data in the Arduino environment and then upload it to Excel. But I'm going to try to do it in Excel since that's a computational pro, uh, software. So it'll save me some space on the, uh, on the Arduino. So, and then we're also going to need to know our baud rate and set our baud rate according to um, the baud rates that are allowed in the PLX DAQ because there's certain set baud rates. You can't, you can't, like you can't use 9,600 for whatever reason. Um, and then um, also we're going to need to know our port, our serial port, or our port that's, that our Arduino is connected to, um, the standard Arduino stuff. And uh, then <clears throat> we go to our void loop. And we have our serial print data, our data and our time. So it prints the data, puts a timestamp. Um, our serial print uh, value for our computational, like I said up there, is part of the, part of part of our uh, earlier um, script if it needs to be used. But I'm not using it currently. I just have it there. And we have our um, our row and our column. And after three, if the Columns are, if the rows are greater than 360, I serial print uh, row set two. Um, so, and I serial print a line. So it separates it, so you know. Um, then, um, another important thing to know, we'll let this upload while I show this, or, okay, we'll upload our sketch while I show this. Uh, important thing to note is that um, after each data set or after each sensor, I put a comma down, and um, that and and just did serial print without uh, a line. And the purpose of that is for it to easily transition into um, Excel and print out across the line. Um, and, you, know, you could probably string the information, um, but this was the easiest way I could. I I figured out how to do it, so. So that way, every line set is, is a sensor information comma, sensor information comma, and it's just one string every delay. And you can change your delay to whatever you prefer for whatever you know time uh, amount of time you would like to do for your data acquisition. Um, and I chose 750 because it was closest to one second with the uh, with the delay from running through the data acquisition and then uploading to Excel. It works out to be a, a set. Uh, acquisition of one second, so a transmission, basically, line of information every second. Um, so, uh, now that we have that set up, uh, we're going to go to um, this site, which I'll link down below, and uh, there's teaching, educational trainings and stuff um, for writing a lot of the scripting, uh, which I recommend that you read over, um, but you go to this site and uh, we are going to want to do mm, go 
in the download section. This right here. Downloads. I will link it in the description below. Download it right here. Click it. Of course, I already have it. Um, and so I go over here and open up the spreadsheet. It's basically like a, a, a ActiveX plugin um, into Excel. Uh, and I've already opened it. And it will tell you it's an ActiveX plugin. And uh, this is just, I've already set up headers. So you can kind of see what's going on. So and then we're going to, it's important to make sure we have the same port as our Arduino. And also the baud rate according to uh, the script and, and the serial port baud rate. And hopefully you should know that stuff for your ba you know, basic Arduino information. So now I will show you, let me, and this is, uh, by the way, this is connection status. This is receiving and transmitting. Uh, so now if we connect. Data. Which is good to see. So we have our timestamp and our temp, our temperature information, current, stuff like that. Um, so now I'll do a disconnect. And I can clear the columns, and now I'll show you to graph in real time, or or to graph any anything really. Um, we'll go. It doesn't really matter. We'll go here. You have to pre-highlight what you're going to grab. Sorry, it's late. Um, so we pre-highlight our, our information as it comes in, and then so you, can, you guys can see this. You go to insert, and then go to. Um, I usually use a scatter graph because it's it's a little more. Uh, it, it shows each acquisition point, and, and you can map trend lines and stuff like that it's, a, and you, it's more customizable so i usually use that um, and you can you know put in whatever whatever you want um, okay that's one you know whatever you want so i'm clicking on this here but um all excel stuff you can also just look at some tutorials for excel but now that we've got that all set up we can connect see we now have data coming in our data points so if I grab for mr. probe here my hand so I grabbed two different ones you can see that we raised in temperature on one climbed and then it stabilized and went down sensor and all that kind of stuff. Um, another nice thing is I can, if I wanted to, I could like click on my flow and I can set it on a secondary axis. So this is important. So now I have the secondary axis for my flow or my current, you know, whatever I want to, whatever I want to put on my secondary axis. And, uh, you know, you can play around with this stuff. Um, um, the, uh, marker options, built, built in, make it all I kind of like all the dots and a little smaller, stuff like that. You can change them all around, but uh, this is um, just kind of a crash course and, and one way that you can do data logging for free and, uh, and uh, also do it in real time. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. And, uh, and if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. And thank you so much for watching.